I've ever asked you to prove or disprove something, it's actually really easy to disprove a statement. All you need is one single counterexample. But when proving something, do examples work just as well? Turns out, not so much. In order to prove something, you need to have every single example proven. Imagine you had to prove something for all of the natural numbers. You would have to show that n equals 1 is true, n equals 2 is true, all the way up to infinity. That would be exhausting, showing an infinite amount of examples. That's where induction comes in. Induction is going to allow us to prove things for all natural numbers. Think of it as an infinite row of dominoes. If you hit the first one, you know that they're all going to fall down. Induction is really an if-then statement. If our claim is true for a particular case, then it must be true for the subsequent case. Algebraically speaking, induction is really going to assume that if n equals k holds true, where k is any natural number, and k is just that a letter that we chose to represent it, it could have been any other letter, then the next case, where n equals k plus 1, must be true. So let's go back to our dominoes. Let's say that they're the natural number line, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to infinity. So when proving by induction, we're going to assume that everything works all the way up to some natural number k, just like these dominoes. We're going to have to show that the next domino, or in other words, the k plus 1 domino, is going to have to fall in order for the statement to be true for all natural numbers. Luckily, it does. Now just move k farther and farther down the line, and you've covered all of the natural numbers. To begin induction, though, you must show that the base case holds true. Usually that's with n equals 1, but sometimes the base case can be something else. Without proving the base case, or in other words, the first domino falling, you won't be able to link the beginning of the natural numbers with the infinite end of them. We know it doesn't really end, though. Obviously, then, we would assume that n equals k is going to hold true, or in other words, some set of the dominoes are going to fall. And then we're going to show that the next domino falls, in other words, the k plus 1 domino. And that's how induction works.